You know, growing up in a single mother home in a, in a household full of young boys, my mom would make us, you know, do everything from washing dishes to, to cleaning our rooms, of course, to, to cleaning and washing clothes. We had to do it all. Clean up after the dog, go outside. It's a lot of things I have to do. Dishes, take out the trash, clean her room. That was a big one. And so every time we passed her room, we would try to tiptoe to like, make sure she doesn't see us. Cause we knew if she seen us, she would, she would uh, have us do something. And so that's really what it came from. She commanded everything from her bed. Every time I hear her name or hear her screaming my name, it, it like brings me back to that child home memory of, of her yelling my name. And I got like PTSD from it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really, really feel like what I did was normal. Um, the whole time I grew up, my mother would call you from outside to, to change the television. Like, you guys got it easy, you know? She would literally call you from outside to come in and change the television. She would call you from outside, which means she would go to the porch and holler for you to make her a glass of water. So I felt like that was my right and privilege after having kids, <laughs> you know? That you should be doing the same for me. Now, anything you guys need, I jump up and take care of it. I can't front and say that I ask you guys to do things or ho holler for you guys to come and do things for me because I'm trying to teach you some character traits. No, I just want this, I just need my remote. One thing a black mother can't stand is to see you sitting down. <laughs> if I see you sitting down, I'm trying to find some kind of job to do. that you can do. Can you walk the dog? Can you take the trash out? Can you help me hang my pictures? Just whatever it is. <laughs>